Hi guys, it's Lisi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a super different video. Usually we do pick a cards, but this video is going to be specifically about Destiny Life Being Dust for those of you who know. And if you don't, then she's another YouTuber, um, but she's pretty big so I feel like most people have heard of her. Um, she's another YouTuber and honestly she seems like a great person. I never met her, never spoke to her. Honestly, I've even DM'd her and she never replied, <laughs> but it's all good. I honestly still love her. Um, I genuinely care about her and she said that she was going to be posting and stuff and she hasn't and I just want to check up on her. I just want to make sure she's good because I've literally been watching her probably for about two years now and I just think she's a sweet person and I, I think she's very nice. Like She seems like she's very kind, like she tries to take care of the people in her life. And I really look up to her for that because most people are not like that. Most people expect people to take care of them. Most people aren't the one to be like, let me buy you something, let me do this for you. And I really see her as that type of person. Um, like a very compassionate person is how I see her. Um, yeah, like just giving a lot of love. So I feel like all we can do right now is just do the same thing for her. Like the same energy, the same love that she pushes out to us. Telling us to stay positive, stay up. Um same thing for her right now you know like she seems a bit sad I'm not gonna lie she does seem a bit sad and when somebody's sad like it doesn't make sense to kick them while they're down you know if somebody's already sad and you're putting them in a worse predicament not necessarily putting them in a worse predicament but you're making them feel worse you don't know why they're sad you don't know what's going on in their life and you're you're making it worse by sending her hate and I just don't appreciate that and I mean, it's not coming towards me, but it's just, she's a person, you know? Like, how would you feel if you were sad, you were going through your shit, and now you have all these people talking shit about you for it? Like, to me, that's never okay. That's never okay. So I just wanted to do a little reading on her, just like a little energy checkup, something super simple, super light, nothing invasive. That's not my place at all. Um, and then I have some advice cards. Um, there's a few of them that popped out. We had a lot of jumpers. So... I kind of want to start with the tarot, like I always do. Okay. So, the first card we have is the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands talks about something that you're passionate about, something that you're going towards. It could be different opportunities. Um, but for Destiny, I see that this might be her YouTube. This might be her YouTube, her podcast, maybe even her store, because I know she has her um, Refuse the Brand now. And whatever else she does, I see that she's having a hard time going towards them. She's having a hard time doing what it is that she needs to um, do to get towards them. She's not really, maybe she's not really focused on it right now. Um, but this is a challenge. That she's having a hard time going towards this. But I see that she does know where to go. Because the wands are very straightforward. Like They're very directed at one space. Like They're about to fall into the ground and stand up straight. You know, like They're going at a very fast so I do see that she knows where to go but she's having a hard time getting there with the five of swords I see that she feels like because she hasn't been posting because of what's going on in her life that um, she might be losing supporters um, I see that she feels that way like she might be losing people or maybe she's like resentful of what it is that she's done like maybe she's kind of sad that like wow I put myself in this predicament right now I'm sorry, I just need a little bit more space for the third card. So maybe she's not necessarily happy. Like I said, like she's not that happy with her life right now. Like, let her be. I don't understand why people send hate to people. It doesn't make sense. It makes more sense to see what's happening and just fucking ignore it. Like, people are different. <laughs> people are real different. Anyway, we have the Page of Swords, and I think two came out for this one. Yeah. Yeah, this one came out with two. We have the Page of Swords, and we also have the Four of Pentacles here. The Page of Swords is talking about somebody who has ideas, has plans, but they're not going there yet. In, in this position, that's what she needs to organize. Maybe she needs to organize her plans. She needs to organize her thoughts. I see here as well with the Four of Cups, like maybe she's too focused on one thing to pay attention to what it is that she needs to go towards, pay attention to the things that she's really passionate about and not let her mind get the best of her right now because look we have two swords right next to each other 
so really just not let her mind get the best of her and there's even so much blue the blue talks the blue to me talks about the mind it talks about like clarity like having like um how do you say that like having like clear speech i don't know what you would like call that but being able to communicate clearly is what i see with the blue because you know blue is also your throat chakra um and i see that maybe right now she's having a hard time with that um, I correlated the blue with the swords because of the king of swords. King of swords, there's so much blue behind him. And anytime I see that card, that's what I always think of is just truth. Going towards your truth. And then when I see the blue, it's the same thing. Just speaking your truth and being true to yourself. And I see right now she's having a hard time with that. Her focus needs to be shifted. She needs to shift her focus in. Pay attention to what she loves, what she loves to do. Oh, look at this. We have the Page of Wands as her advantage. She knows what she loves. Maybe she's even been learning something new. Maybe she's been working on new things. I know she said that um, maybe like a few months ago that she was starting something new or like she was working on something, you know, like she's always doing her stuff. And I see that this is something that's going to help her. It's going to help her to get out of this mind state, this state of mind of... I don't even know what to call it like stagnancy because the page of swords she's not moving yet and as you can see with the four of cups like he's literally sitting in meditation he's very content with where he is and it's okay to be content but i see for her own mental health that she needs to um she needs to go after what it is that she was doing she needs to work on that because it's going to help her to get out of this space the page of wands talks about going after something that you're passionate but the page is someone who is like the student the page is still learning and the wands is passion things that you really enjoy to do like your fire energy like what ignites the fire inside of you like your your passion like i don't know how else to put that um and that's something that's going to help her to get out of the space this mental space is going towards what she already loves to do what she knows she loves to do or maybe something that she even started recently that she's been doing now with the seven of pentacles i see that literally what i was just saying that the best thing for her to do right now to help her mind help her and i feel so bad like that's what i see when i see her just somebody that's sad and it's like you know like sometimes you're sad you have negative thoughts and i just feel like maybe she doesn't have anywhere to put them or maybe she does give them to somebody like she speaks to people about it maybe she writes them down um i know she used to rap so maybe she raps about them i don't know but um going towards what she loves what she's been working on the sleeve that she has already planted what she has been doing what she's good at like there's so many pentacles here and pentacles is very slow moving energy like if you think of the earth because pentacles has to do with the earth so you think of like a tree growing it doesn't take the tree overnight to get to where it is you know it takes years for that to happen and it literally has taken her years to build up her her status i don't know what else you would call it build her career and become who she is now like she literally became a whole ceo through youtube and i think that's honestly amazing it's so amazing um she's accomplished so much honestly and i see with the seven of pentacles she needs to continue to go after that energy she needs to continue to work on what it is that she loves because look he's even holding a a wand too i didn't even realize that <laughs> that he has a wand on his hand too like he's working on something that he loves and he looks a little sad right now like he looks like he's just looking at it focused on it because it's like i've worked so hard on this and it's like just admiring what he's done admiring all his hard work and how much effort he has put into building something that he loves so much okay and that's what's gonna help her to get out of this state of mind is doing what she loves doing what makes her happy what brings the passion out of her and then we have the tower so for the tower, I see that this is definitely coming to an end. Like all of this, this negative energy, not even negative energy, but I do feel like it is a little stagnant. I feel like she's a little stuck. Like maybe she doesn't necessarily know what to do or maybe she does because there is a lot of swords energy. So maybe she knows mentally what it is that she needs to do, but she maybe doesn't know how to do it. And maybe that's why this is here, the four of cups, because she's trying to figure out, okay, but how do I do this? How do I go after what it is that I want? Yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. Something else came to my head, but I'm not going to, to say it out loud. 
Um, but with the tower energy here, like I said, the tower is a card that talks about something ending super quick. Like, something like, um, let me explain it. Like, if you guys look at the top, there's like a lightning bolt that hits the building. All of a sudden, the building bursts on fire and the people have to jump out because they don't have anything else to do. They don't know where to go other than to jump out with the tower because the structure was shaky the structure was not good the foundation was not built properly and because of that it ended and that's literally life it's literally just life if something is not for you if something is not built properly something is not stable it will come crashing down and i see that with this not saying that she will come crashing down but this energy that she's in right now is going to end it's going to come to a halt and honestly with the tower i feel like it's something that's happening soon I feel like it's something that's happening soon. Um, what else do I see? Yeah, just working on herself, bettering herself, and even taking care of herself. Taking care of herself, loving herself. That's what she needs right now. So send her love, guys. Send her love. Send her positivity. There's no room for hate in this world. Let's get into the geometry cards. I like to save the wild oracles for last because I think they're so pretty. Let me read them first. We have Cosmic Flower, number 18. We have Compassion. And we have Conception. I'm going to read conception first since it's already in my hand. It says, the frequency of conception invites us to bring our consciousness to our origin, the place where everything in creation begins. It helps us to remember the infinite potential. It helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of this space and what we can manifest through our own focused awareness and intention. So with this card, oh, like if you guys look super close, doesn't it look like there's like a heartbeat running through the middle? That's so funny because when I picked up the compassion card, all the green kind of was like heart, you know? Because your heart chakra is green. Your heart space is green. And to me, green is a very healing color. And look, there's so much green, guys. There's literally so much green in this pile. In this spread, I mean. Can you guys see all of them? This one looks more blue on the camera from what I can see right here. But these cards are just super green. But with this card, um... I see that she's manifesting this end, maybe. She's manifesting this end to come out of this energy and get her life moving again. Compassion. It says, the frequency of compassion supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and be divine mediator between heaven and earth, spirit and matter, so that unconditional love can flow from source through our heart into the world. So this is advice for her. This is what... If she ever sees this video, Destiny, this is what you need to work on right now, honey. Just loving yourself, taking care of yourself, taking care of you and Dojo. You know, like, you guys are all that matters to you right now, okay? I literally got chills. <laughs> and we also have Cosmic Flower. It says, the frequency of Cosmic Flower activates our remembrance of, space we, of the space we call home. The core of which we pour our magnificence into the world. So Cosmic Flower also talks about, like, it reminds me of, like, the lotus flower. Like, how the lotus flower kind of, like, blossoms every single day. And, like, at night, it kind of, like, goes back into, like, murky water. And a lot of people kind of, um, please correct me if I'm wrong because I'm not trying to be offensive whatsoever. But a lot of people, um, kind of put the... I think it's called an unalom. I could be wrong about how to pronounce it as well. Like, they put the unalom on top, the lotus flower on top of the unalom, which is kind of talking about, like, your journey to enlightenment. And it starts off a little bit straight, but throughout the journey, like, if you look it up, literally just Google unalom. It's U-N-A-L-O-M-E. Um, it's, like, a little thing, and it, like, goes up, and it, like, spirals. And then, like, at the top, there's, like, a lotus sometimes. And that's what I just thought of when I picked this up is literally blossoming into yourself blossoming into who you are destiny blossoming into the beautiful being that we know that you are the beautiful being that you have blessed us with for all these years even maybe somebody even more beautiful maybe even figuring out self parts of yourself that you never even knew were there healing healing honey healing parts of yourself that maybe you didn't even realize that still needed to be healed stuff that you thought that you were done and over with and just completely 
getting rid of this energy, completely getting past everything that's happening right now. And then Oracle cards. Well, those are Oracle cards too, but we have more. We have forgiveness. I can't do them like that. I'm sorry. Oh, and the sun is back. We have forgiveness. I hope you guys can still see them good. This is such a pretty card. Like I was saying, there's so much green energy. Oh my goodness, look, another one. Um, perfectionism. There's so much green. Just healing. All she needs right now is love. And there's even a butterfly right here. The butterfly talks about transformation. Um, literally, like, if you think about a caterpillar, the caterpillar eats and does what it needs to do until it's time for it to go inside and make a cocoon. Like, I don't think the caterpillar gets to decide when they make the cocoon but they instinctually know when they need to meet the cocoon and they go into the cocoon and they come out as something more beautiful. You understand me? Like literally transforming yourself, transforming yourself into something so beautiful, the cosmic flower, okay? But yeah, she needs so much love. I mean, not need, but she does need loving energy in order to heal. Okay, so we have perfectionism, we have forgiveness, and we also have body. A lot of blue here as well. A lot of green and a lot of blue. Beautiful. Honestly, two amazing colors. Anyway, forgiveness. Healing comes from acceptance. Help me, dear Lord, to fully accept what is, knowing that this alone will open me to the new. So literally just accepting your situation for what it is now, not judging yourself. I see that this is what she needs to do. She needs to see her situation from what for what it is realistically and not judge herself not be upset with herself just forgive herself and be like you know what that's it happened and it's done you can't do anything about it now because you can't go back in the past and change it you understand me all you can do is change your future and step one is forgiveness step one is understanding that maybe you did something that you wish you hadn't done because that is what i get from this the spread is that she kind of resents it with the with the five of the five of swords that she kind of resents it um but i see that you need to forgive yourself first forgive yourself for what you've done don't let the hate get to you do not let these people bring you down like you are so much stronger so much stronger than all these people do not let them get you down oh i literally want to cry when i'm saying that and we have perfectionism perfectionism or I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was literally about to cry too much, okay? I'm too much of an empath for this. <laughs> um, permission to make mistakes, literally, literally. The first, what is that? Four words. Permission to make mistakes is so freeing, okay? Permission to make mistakes is so freeing. Everybody, absolutely everybody makes mistakes, okay? It happens. It happens, and it's okay. Everybody makes them. All we can do is move past it, you know? Oh, I don't know why I'm about to start crying. Like, maybe there's somebody watching this video that's crying right now because what? But like I said, I do really love her. I really care for her, and I just want the best for her. And I feel like this is why it's been heavy, like so heavy on me that it's like, I feel like I just have to talk about it because, I mean, clearly she can't talk about this right now. Like, she's not in that headspace to want to talk about it right now. And I completely understand that. I don't, like, don't rush her, nothing. Like, give her her time, give her her space, leave her alone. Like, honestly, unless you're sending her love, leave her alone. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's continue. Permission to make mistakes is so freeing. It's the root of creativity and change. Allow me, divine, to make any mistakes I need. Free me from the prison of perfectionism. If this is honestly what you're struggling with, Destiny, like you feel like you need to be perfect, you don't. I don't know why I'm gonna cry. I'm trying so hard not to. But when I look at this, I also see like the little grid in the background. And it kind of reminds me of like in math class where you would have to like draw like a scale or something and you have to do it perfect. And that's why the lines are there to help you to do it perfectly. Nobody's perfect perfectionism is not something that even exists okay that's more of a human construct in my opinion because perfectionism does not exist perfectionism only exists in imperfection because 
nobody's perfect nobody's perfect and destiny if you're watching this you might be looking at your mistakes and being like this is the worst thing that anybody could have ever done like whatever it is that's getting you done right now you might be looking at it as this is terrible it's not it's not it's done destiny it's done you did what you did pick yourself up and keep going that's it that's all you can do like there's so many people that just look up to her you know so it's so sad that so many people who so many people look at and they're like wow like i want to be like you like i love you so much but you never know what they're going through like you, you sit down and you idolize people and you don't see them for people you just see them as an idol instead of checking up on them making sure that they're good making sure that they're taken care of too making sure that their mental health is good and not flooding them with hate when you can clearly tell that they're not in a good headspace anyway body show me divine how to love and fully care for this body please give me the radiant miracle of accepting my body as it is okay so again if this is also something that you've been having a hard time with not accepting yourself you're beautiful you're honestly beautiful you're so beautiful and i know people tell you that on a daily basis on your instagram your love okay you are love literally you are love and there's so much blue and green energy here just so much healing energy destiny if you're watching this and you will get through this like literally the outcome of the spread is a tower moment the outcome of this spread is an ending ending this energy and moving on to love moving on to happiness okay i hope that this helped some of her supporters because it definitely helped me um, just to kind of see what's going on because it, it is kind of hard and I know it's not my place at all it is kind of hard to um, like you see somebody you care about going through a hard time and it's like you can't do anything about it you know you really can't do anything about it and I also see a spider right now like spiders talk about weaving your own webs and it's so random that a spider <laughs> there's literally a spider crawling on my window most random thing ever but spiders talk about weaving your own web, like creating your own reality, okay? And in order to create your own reality, you have to start in the now. Start where you are right now and take it step by step until you get to where you're trying to be. And I see that you will. You will. Don't try to be perfect because nobody's perfect. Just forgive yourself. Focus on you right now. Focus on coming out of this energy and blossoming into this beautiful butterfly. Focus on loving yourself right now. Taking care of yourself and... Don't let people get you down. Do not let this, these people get you down, okay? You're, you're so much stronger than that. And you've shown us this time and time again, and I know that you can do You can do it, okay? I know you can do it, and I know that you will do it. Because everything else that you've ever been through, Destiny, everything else that you've ever been through in your whole life, you've made it through it, okay? Everything. Like you talked about how you literally used to be homeless living on like sleeping on your grandma's floor and having your clothes in a bag um and this is the time i was watching you this is the time i was watching you like i remember you used to be like hotboxing your grandma's closet and stuff like that sorry for the cracking but i remember you used to be doing stuff like that hotboxing her living room her bathroom her kitchen like stuff like that and it's so crazy because this whole time i was watching it like i would have never I would have never guessed that that was her situation because she just stayed so strong throughout the whole thing and I'm not saying to stay strong throughout this I'm saying to get help and be safe I'm not saying to just like try to move on from it because trying to move on from something like this is not gonna work it's, it's gonna hold you down a little bit you know you have so many supporters that love you as well like that's coming to my head too like you have so much love coming to you already and the compassion card is on top too you have so much love coming to you already that it's gonna help you to heal it definitely will and you know what if you lose people you lose people it is what it is this is your life this is your journey this is your story and like i said what's done is done forgive yourself everybody makes mistakes absolutely everybody makes mistakes the people that truly love you, Destiny, will not hold it against you. And if people are holding against you, those simply are not your people. Okay? As simple as that. So do not let the hate get you down. And just 
stay up and stay positive okay i hope this helps some of her supporters like i said destiny if you're watching i hope to help you you can see me if you would like and we could do a different reading a more personal reading um i mean this was just an energy check-in this is just to see where her energy is right now not necessarily like everything that's taking place in her life that's really not my business it's not my place to indulge and dive into all that stuff i really just wanted to make sure that she's okay and i say that she will be she'll be just fine she's literally gone through so much she's gone through so much in her life and every time she's made it out on top like she literally went from being homeless to living in a loft and driving a bmw like she'll be okay she just needs help right now she just needs a lot of love okay that's all she just needs a lot of love right now a lot of compassion and a lot of caring people thank you for everyone that tuned in i hope this helped you destiny or maybe even someone else in a similar situation that happened to come by this video i hope it helped okay bye guys